The legitimacy of Malaysia's new Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaakob could be challenged when Parliament sits on Monday. Analysts say that's even though no confidence motion is planned during the sitting. Now, at the same time, Melissa Goh has heard from the Law Minister on the government's big plans to undertake inclusive reforms and foster greater bipartisanship. A political circus, an endless shouting match. Malaysian MPs in action. 75-year-old law minister Wan Junaidi Tunku Jaffa laments the bitter state of affairs among parliamentarians, scarred by the factions that precipitated the abrupt change of government. That the debate of 1957 up to 1963 is a much better in terms of quality of debate. People are talking a lot more on the substantive matter rather than talking politics. They don't shout and yell so much. In a bid to foster an inclusive and conducive political environment, reforming parliament is on the prime minister's agenda. In principle, he agreed that I look into all the things that I mentioned. A reformacy of parliament, the second thing, a reformacy of government. What are some of the low-hanging fruits that you hope to present to the cabinet during your first 100 days in office? Anti-hoping, uh, tenure of office for prime minister, and then the 18 years old election, all these things, okay, included. And then, um, of course, leader of opposition uh, will be upgraded into a certain level. But Prime Minister Ismail Sabri is not seeking a confidence vote, as he'd been appointed by the king just less than a month ago. The young Nagong, under the constitution, is the only person who can appoint prime minister. Now, you want to have parliament session to find out whether he got a support or not, meaning we are trying to undermine the constitutional authority of the Agong. But the opposition insisted that the king has decreed that among the first order of business for the new prime minister is to seek a confidence vote. Uh, this will hang, whether as a sort of Democles or uh, however you want to put it, uh, I think uh, this will perhaps play on in people's minds, yeah, so long as it is not resolved. The tabling of the crucial national budget slated end of October is seen as the next big test for Mr Ismail Sabri, whether it gets passed without a glitch. And political analysts say that the Prime Minister will have to navigate carefully given his slim majority in Parliament. So you see as well a very clear challenge to Ismail Sabri's government, similar akin to what Mohidin faced in the past. Uh, you've got a lot of people to please, a lot of parties to placate, but I, I think uh, the proof of being a pudding when it comes to parliament, uh, just how far these, these measures come into place. It's a delicate balance trying to keep Amno and all the other parties in the alliance happy. Now, Ismail Sabri's appointment of the cabinet, largely unchanged from his predecessor, Muhyiddin Yassin, is testament to that. Now, for the next six to seven months, the government needs to stem the surge in COVID-19 cases, as well as restore public confidence. And the prime minister faces a tough road ahead to stay in the job. Melissa Goh, CNA, Kuala Lumpur.